Yeah, I lived in 19th and Manton, right around there, Federal. And one day my father, uh, Engine 24 used to come down Manton Street from 20th Street, turn on 19th going south. And my father would say, now watch, you see the chief will come down 19th Street. And we just stand there, hicking the chief from 19th to south on down. And one day, I think I was about 13 years old, he said, do you want to see where the color firemen work? I said, yeah, very nice. So we walked from 19th and Federal to 19th and South, and there was Engine 1. He said, that's where the chief is. Yeah, he, looked, yeah. he said, now I'll take you where the color firemen work. And we walked all the way down South Street. Now, South Street was westbound them days. And we walked all the way down South Street, and we stood across the street from Engine 11, and he said, that's where the color firemen work. And I'm sitting there, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I, I had no idea, and then uh, give or take maybe 13 years later, I walked in that front door, you know, and stayed there 18 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. What what year was that that uh, you started? When I, when I went there as a kid? Mm -hmm. No, no. When you were when you started working? Oh, 50, 1950. 1950. Yeah, December the first, 1950. Did, uh, you, I think you told me before that uh, you trained on the job? Yeah, we we didn't go to fire school. When I went into that... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> when we were sworn in, we went from City Hall over to headquarters, which was the 13th in race. It was 16 of us. And we sat on a long table and we sign our papers, you know, sign this, paper, you kill your fellow insurance, you know, sign this union, sign this, sign this. And they said, now I asked you one at a time, when can you start to work, you know, and I said, when can you start? Right away. I see, uh, you're on the B platoon, uh, and this is a little after noon. Four o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> go out to the Army Navy store, get a Shamberry shirt and pair of dungarees, and go to Engine So and So by four o'clock. Leave now. The guy would leave. So and So, midnight tonight, you know. And I said, Oh, I, I, what am I going to do? So one guy ahead of me said, The first of the month. I said, That's it. You know, it comes to my turn. I said, First of the month. Okay, put me down to the first of the month. Because on my job, this was on a Friday. My time went on a, in a Wednesday, you know, and I get a full pay. Mm. So I worked uh, Friday and I didn't work on Saturday. I worked Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and I quit, you know. And that was the the twenty fourth of November, and the December the first, I reported to work at midnight, you know. And <laughs> go in there, the captain said, "Here's the he gave me a bunk, you know, everything." And said, stay up till 2 o'clock, you know, don't go to bed till 2. Go to bed. <laughs> out, of your, out of your mind. You know? And that's when I would sit up and I would talk to your father and all the guys, and they would tell me this and tell me that, you know. And was, that was the best way to do it. We had manpower, you know, then, but now you can't do it now with one officer and three men. Yeah. You know? We had sometimes six men, and two would be detailed out. We had a lot of men.